What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Amazon Prime's Jack Ryan New Season 2. Hey, before you watch this review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Amazon Prime for granting me the screeners to these entire eight new episodes of this all-new season two of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan series. As a fan of the previous season, naturally I was over the moon jumping up and down super stoked when I was given the opportunity to screen this new season two early, way ahead of its premiere. So. Let's get right to the big overall question, shall we? Is this new season 2 as solid as the first one? I would say yes it is. But I think this season 2 may cause a bit of a rift among the fans, especially those who may have strong political opinions, which there's nothing wrong with that. All I'm saying is that that rift will be totally understandable. As far as the show being an action drama, it's as if Jack Ryan never skips a beat. It's intense, it's explosive, it's thrilling. Sometimes some of the characters can get infuriating, which only means that the show and the actors have done their job really well. And John Krasinski looks even more comfortable this time around in the skin of this iconic character. John effortlessly personifies a vulnerable, idealistic American hero that's being pushed to the brink. In season two, Greer is having health issues and Jack Ryan now teaches classes, but a missile launches that eventually reunites those two colleagues together again. Turns out, Jack Ryan has been tracking a potentially suspicious shipment of illegal arms in the Venezuelan jungle, so he heads down to South America to investigate. But during that process, the president of Venezuela launches a counterattack which results in a casualty that Jack takes very personally. So, with the help of his operatives, Jack is determined now more than ever to expose the Venezuelan president's nefarious plot and bring down his administration once and for all. In its essence, this season 2 is no different from season 1 in that it is still about cat and mouse chase on one hand, and on the other hand is gangster stuff, which is usually the intrigue and the power struggle and the suspicion and the betrayal going on within the operations of the bad guys. But the difference is this time there's no religious ideology fundamentalism involved. And when you have cast members like Jordi Moya and Tom Vlachia, both of whom have the appearance of a Bond villain, there is no ambiguity as to who it is that Jack Ryan is hunting down. The only mystery here is what is the connection between all of them. So again, this season can simply be broken down to just cat and mouse chase and gangster stuff. Every episode ends with some action-packed sequence or some shootout. Either way, you'll be on the edge of your seat and occasionally clenching your fists. And I love that it only has eight episodes because it goes straight to the heart of the matter without wasting any precious time and there's not really any so-called filler episode. Although halfway through, the story kind of branches out into two seemingly separate roads as Jack is chasing a suspect. Meanwhile, in the jungle, there's a significant search and rescue mission happening. I said significant because after a couple of episodes of that, you might start to wonder where this is all heading, but rest assured knowing that those two detours will meet again at a critical juncture and it all leads to a pretty badass climactic conclusion. With regards to the other new additional supporting cast, Numi Rapage of the famed Prometheus and the Swedish Girl with the Dragon Tattoo is here as the character Harriet Bauman who basically has her own agenda. I've been a big fan of Numi Rapash for quite some time, although many of her Netflix movies have been terrible. That said, Numi's role in this new season is not that big. She only helps with, give or take, about 30% of the plot. And once she's done with, the story moves on back again to being Venezuela. But during those few episodes, 
Numi does deliver. She brings her usual femme fatale persona, and it fits like a glove. Michael Kelly of the famed House of Cards series plays a station chief, Mike November. He is basically the guy that Jack and Greer answer to. Mike November might start out as your usual hard-ass bureaucratic boss, but eventually he becomes like a boss that you wish you had. Now, maybe the character Jack Ryan that you read from Tom Clancy's novels is slightly different from the way that John Krasinski portrays him. My impression is, from John's performance in this new season, Jack Ryan is the guy that almost but never really crosses the line to become Jack Bauer. If we can use Jack Bauer from 24 series for comparison. So in this season 2, Jack's intuition and smarts are being put to the test, especially when his emotions get clouded by his need for vengeance. If season 1 saw him as an analyst driven into action, in this season 2, Jack would impatiently and stubbornly strike the iron while it's hot, which may cause him to have blind spots every now and then. And John performs all of that? with zeal and precision. Last but not least, to my point earlier about how this new season 2 might cause a rift among audiences, I say that mainly because prior to this new season's arrival, I noticed some YouTubers' videos and online commentators out there who are concerned and worried about how this season depicts the current struggles in Venezuela. Because as you all know, the real country Venezuela has been stricken with unrest and uprising and economic downfall for quite some time. Well, let me tell you, even though Jack Ryan Season 2 uses the country Venezuela, the country's problems and the leaders, they're all fictional. The evil president, for example, played by Jordi Moya. His moral bankruptcy and his refusal to give up power is something that can apply to any other dictator from any other country not just Venezuela. This show is not meant to recapture or recreate the actual thing. Remember, it's just a TV streaming show. But if you do find this whole thing to be a turn-off, if you strongly believe that this show should not mislead audiences about the realities on the ground in Venezuela, well, then that's your prerogative, man. The way I see it is, this is just like any other action thriller global spy drama that uses an actual country but creates a fictional dilemma for that country, and it's a practice that's been done in cinemas for decades. At the end of the day, I find Jack Ryan Season 2 to be highly addictive. You may be able to see the twist and turn coming a mile away, and you may even argue that this new season is more straightforward or more style than substance, but I'd be lying to you if I said that it wasn't hella entertaining. And trust me, the last episode, aka Episode 8 in particular, is absolutely satisfying. What a bloody damn great new season. Welcome back, Jack Ryan.